It's the Gear Tester here, and in this video I want to talk about quality control with Marlin, particularly on the Marlin 336 Dark. This video is going to serve as supplementary information to my initial impressions review that I uploaded about a month and a half ago on the Marlin 336 Dark. There are people that are responding and asking questions and making comments on that video and saying that Marlin's quality control has gone in the toilet since it was purchased by Remington. I think that happened 10, 15, maybe 20 years ago. And they're saying, you know, none of these guns that Marlin is currently producing are at the quality level, the bluing, the, the quality of the wood as my grandpa's Marlin 336 from the 1980s, 1970s. And they're poo-pooing particularly the dark series. They just don't think Marlin's doing a good job now that it's owned by Remington or Freedom Group or whatever. And I just want to talk about that a little bit because the, the quality control and attention to detail on my particular rifle, this Marlin 336 Dark, is excellent. This little 3030 that you see here, this is also a Marlin 336. This is the Marlin 336Y. And I purchased this one about four and a half, five years ago. This is a Marlin 336. It's the 336Y, the youth version. Marlin has been producing this gun for a number of years. Marlin just recently started in the last six or seven months producing the 336 Dark maybe in 2019, okay? And uh, this Marlin 336Y is an example of poor quality control. I actually sent this gun back to Marlin about four and a half years ago because I in went to install this excess big dot scope rail, uh, scout rail with the iron sights on it and couldn't install it. You can see here's a little uh, screw, okay? And there's a little post that goes down into the little dovetail that's cut there for the original a rear sight here for this rifle. And that dovetail had been cut in properly and I could not get the components to attach. When I drove the rear sight off, it was very clear that no attention to detail had been given. It had been just crammed on and forced to work even though the barrel had been cut incorrectly. So I sent Marlin pictures of that. They paid for me to ship my gun to them. They've put a new barrel on it, shipped it back to me and it's functioned excellently. The stock has a little bit of movement here in the back and this is so this is this is an example of a poor quality poor put together gun and it seems to me that there is some um, less attention to detail to these youth rifles uh, you know the last couple years when i've seen these guns in stores i went and looked at them and at least in one case one of the other marlin 336 y's had a canted front sight okay it doesn't seem that whoever was making these a couple years ago and maybe they make them in batches it doesn't seem that they were paying that much attention to these so i understand that some Marlin rifles, some Marlin 336s, some 4570s. Uh, there's been some quality control issues. I don't, I don't even think Marlin's trying to hide from that fact. I think that that's the truth. But I think Marlin is stepping up their game. And when a company does that, we, the consumers, need to reward them. I'm not getting paid by Marlin. I'm not affiliated in any way with Marlin or Remington. I paid my own hard-earned money for this gun. I'm going to use it for hunting and use it for recreation, and I like it. I just want to emphasize the fact that I think Marlin has stepped up their game with the Dark series of rifles. Okay, I purchased this one about a month, month and a half ago. They got another one in at the local gun store that I frequent, as well as a 4570 Dark. And the quality control, the stock fitment um, is just excellent. Just want to talk a little bit about the smoothness of the action. This 336 Dark has a very smooth action. And you'll be watching here a video of me shooting this gun accurately and quickly. And one of the reasons I'm able to do that is the action is very smooth from the factory. This Marlin here that I purchased four and a half or five years ago, the action is not as smooth. It wasn't as smooth from the factory as the Dark is. It smoothed out some because I've shot it a bunch and because these guns are easy to uh, fondle, okay? And you just wanna, you just, you just wanna play with them. So I've played with this one a lot because I've had it a lot longer and it's smoothed out, but this from the factory is actually smoother than this one. So I think, I think Marlin is really stepping up their game and they're doing a better job, more attention to deal, detail, and they're doing a better job at stock fitment and, and just how everything goes together. And so they need to be rewarded and celebrated for that rather than just chastised that at some point in their history, they messed up. They lost some quality control. They had some people stop working for them and they had to train new people and those, those people took time to learn how to put the guns together. 
I think the 336 Dark is an excellent rifle. I would recommend it highly to you, my valued viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.